Hi there, and welcome to this first look of the brand new TXNR686 AV receiver from Onkyo. Now I'm going to be showing you what it can do on the outside and how it looks, and more importantly, what it can actually do on the inside. So, the TXNR686 is a 7 channel amplifier, so this gives you the ability to run the traditional 5.1 EX mode or alternatively you could actually decide to go for the Dolby Atmos object based system or the DTS X based system the choice is down to you but then to make sure that the movie playback was as accurate as possible we've actually added THX certification to the 6 series so this means you're getting even closer to what the original director wanted you to see and hear and feel now the 686 has a front HDMI input with an auxiliary analog audio along with the setup mic which is actually powered by AccuEQ. Now by using the room correction you will accurately calibrate for the level, speaker distances, crossover points of your speakers and the room modes within your home cinema. When it comes to power, the 686 has got it where it needs it. It can deliver up to 165 watts across its 7 channels and all of the signals run through the 32-bit DAC which is running at 384 kHz. And along with our VLSC processing and our high current power supply, the 686 will deliver an ultra clean, ultra dynamic sound. For networking, the 686 has a dual band Wi-Fi aerials, two of them, or alternatively, you could actually use the hardwire RJ45 connection. The networking features on the 686 are quite extensive, so if you like streaming and listening to radio programs, you can use the TuneIn app. There's also Spotify and Deezer. And then for high resolution audio, we've got Tidal in there as well for you. We've also added the extremely powerful Chromecast into the 686 with the extremely flexible Flare Connect which allows you to send any of your inputs on your AV amplifier to any other Flare Connect enabled unit and we've also included AirPlay and a DLNA music server. Another important part of the 686 is that it's DTS PlayFi and Flare Connect enabled which means listening to any of your sources anywhere across your whole audio network is even simpler. You just need to find the Onkyo PlayFi controller app either on the Google Play Store or alternatively App Store. And then all you need is DTS PlayFi enabled devices such as the P3 smart speaker or alternatively any of our PlayFi enabled devices. Here's an example, there's a CRN775D. But now I think it's time to take a proper look at the rear panel of the TXNR686. So first up will be the seven HDMI inputs. That'll be six across the back and one actually on the front as I've already covered. Now the video support on the HDMI inputs across the back is actually quite extensive. It fully supports 4K HDR and Dolby Vision, along with full support for HDR10, HLG and BT2020. And we can't forget the HTCP 2.2 which is supported across all inputs and outputs on the back. There's actually two HDMI outputs on the back of the TXNR686, a main and sub. And inside the menus, you can actually select which one you want to use or have them output both at the same time. We've also got all the other connections you're going to need. We've got three digital inputs, one coaxial, two optical. There's a built-in FM tuner and a USB socket, which will allow you to connect portable hard drives or USB sticks. Now, the two composite and the two component video inputs will be up converted to output via the HDMI. There's no scaling involved but they will convert the signal to HDMI for you. All of the analog inputs you can see on the bottom are assignable, except for the phono input, which has got a dedicated moving magnet board inside. Also, we've got a zone two output on the back of this amp. You can either run it line out, or if you want to, you can use two of the amplifiers inside and assign them to the powered zone two part of the amplifier. Well, I think that's covered everything on the back panel with a TXNR 686 we're all done on the front of the 686 as well so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have please like and subscribe to the channel you can find us on facebook or track us down on twitter thanks again take care bye bye